Guys, this is awesome. And today I'm gonna to show you exactly why that is. Today guys, I'm going to tell you why wedding albums matter, how to get one organized and created, how to even get your guests to fund your wedding album, and who I recommend for my wedding album suppliers. I'm going to tell you why wedding albums will make your memories more special as time goes on. Let me know in the comment section below if you love the idea of a wedding album but don't know where to start. And also stick around to the end guys because I've got a huge tip for you to tell you exactly how to get your wedding album funded by your guests. How amazing is that? Let's do this. I'm an Australian elopement of wedding photographer based here in Canberra in Australia and every day I'm designing wedding albums for couples. I'm going through this with them. I kind of know what I'm talking about because I've designed and created so many of them. Now this video is actually extracted from a larger piece of a blog post I've written which I've also linked down below. So if you guys want to go and have a bit more of a full on depth read, that's the best place to go. So if you're not sure about wedding albums, you want to learn more about them and you want to learn why they are such a good investment, stick around to the end guys. I'm going to lay it all out for you. And if you want to see more videos from mine hit subscribe down below and you'll keep up to date with everything I do. How are wedding photos usually delivered? Well usually they're delivered within four to six weeks after your wedding or at least they should be. Now they're sent to you in an online gallery. A lot of photographers these days will actually send you stuff in an online really beautiful gallery. Um, I create these every single day. It's really beautiful, really easy for you to share with friends and family as well. Now what typically happens is once you guys do actually get your photos, Few things happen. You should go through it, you'll be like, oh, these are really, really cool. You'll probably download a couple and basically make them your screensaver or your wallpaper on your phone, and then you kind of forget about them for a bit. What you then might do, or your family members might do, is they might try and print them out and actually see they come out pretty kind of rubbish. Now, there's a few different reasons for that. I'll probably go into in a different video, but basically the long and short of it is the, the best way to display stuff really is in a wedding album. So the thing about digital photos is that whilst they're really, really great, photographs were never really meant to exist in, uh, in on a screen. And the problem is that a lot of your photographs are actually going to turn to digital dust pretty quickly. I think you can probably feel how it is when you take lots of photos on your phone and then you go back through and you're scrolling and thinking, wow, I didn't know I took like all these photos on here and you quickly forget about it and I just think that's a real shame for your wedding day. The really other big problem is that basically resolutions in screens are increasing so quickly. If you look back at standard kind of widescreen DVD back in the early 2000s, I think it was about 720 by about 400 pixels, which obviously nowadays sounds small when you've got 4K, but that's what it was like in the early 2000s. And now typically images will be delivered in a roughly about 4K um, resolution to you guys typically, but this is exponentially growing. And the whole problem is that while you know you might have 4k today think about in 20 years we might be up to like 30k or beyond that so your photos are just gonna look smaller and smaller as the time goes on so what is a typical wedding album like well I've actually got one here which I'm gonna walk you guys through in a bit but this is a really good example of a kind of traditional typical wedding album I create and they are so beautiful. So typically a wedding album is about 10 to 30 spreads long. Now a spread is basically two pages so 10 spreads is 20 pages and that's a really good length of a wedding album because wedding albums are meant to be more of a narrative. It's like when you go to the movies, you don't want to go and see an hour and a half film in four hours. It's meant to be a nice concise view of everything and that's what I think good wedding album design is all about. It's not about just totally jamming every page with like 30 images because that doesn't really create a narrative. The great thing about wedding albums as well is that you can personalize them to your absolute taste. A lot of really good high quality album makers will actually let you do this as well. So for example you can have vintage leathers, vegan leathers even, canvas, lots and lots of different color combinations as well suit the theme of your day. And the other really big thing as well goes back to this whole thing I was talking about with resolution of photos. The thing is, this is a 10 by 10 album, but here, for example, these photos are always gonna be 
this size. No matter how big the resolution, this is always gonna be a 10 by 10 inch album, and it's always gonna look amazing. So when you're viewing on a screen in about 20 years and it's really small, it's not gonna be the same case here. It's gonna be really big, really bold, and really, really beautiful, guys. So what is the experience like of actually having a wedding album? Kind of, why is it better to have this wedding album you can actually see and touch rather than this kind of set of stuff you can scroll through? So this is the big thing with having a wedding album. You sacrifice the convenience of having a phone just like this with all the images on it for the experience of actually having a wedding album. Of actually sitting down and feeling it and touching it and everything like that, you know, like it's something which is just getting so lost nowadays. You'll be able to sit down in 10, 15 years and actually open it together and look at it and be like, yeah, we did this. This is like, this is our life. You can feel it with your hands. Do you know what I mean? It's a real tangible thing. Whereas it, it, the problem with getting stuff online is that so often it's just lost there. It doesn't have any tangibility. And I think it's the perfect way of really honoring what your whole experience has been about. You know, you guys have gone on this adventure. You know, you've got this real physical heirloom, this book you guys can like look at and feel and pass down to future generations as well. So we're basically halfway through this video. I wanna hear if this is making sense to you guys. Are you having a good time with this? Just type hell yes down below if you are. I'd love to hear what you're thinking so far. Um, and if I'm kind of convincing you guys to maybe look into getting a wedding album. Okay, so you guys are hopefully on board with the idea of a wedding album, and now you're probably thinking, well, how do we design it? How do we get one started? Well, the great news is that your professional photographer should be able to help you out with this. People like me, for example, every day I'm making new albums for couples. I've got a little bit of an eye to kind of what works best. And yet again, the reason is to create a narrative, not this thing where you're just jamming it full of 100 images, where it's, it kind of destroys the purpose of it. You know, a book is meant to have that really beautiful narrative in it, and that's what I do for my couples so that you don't have to sit there thinking which photo is gonna work where. Now, in terms of the design of your wedding album, you can have it in lots and lots of different formats, and it might vary between different photographers' choices. Personally, I love the square format of books. They're really, really beautiful. It's a really nice way to kind of open up, and this is a 10 by 10 inch album, which is my standard. And with this, when you open it out and spread it out, you actually get 20 inches of art piece which is really, really nice. So now that we've got this design of this wedding album sorted for you guys, you're probably thinking next, well, come on, I wanna be able to customize the front. I wanna be able to choose my leathers and all this different kind of stuff. Well, the great news is that you can customize a lot of different stuff. So for example, you can have vintage leathers, you can have really colorful canvases, you can have more kind of traditional micro leathers, and you can even have vegan leathers. So there really is a lot of everything for someone. The other cool part is you can also customize the foils as well. So for example, these things here, these are the foils, so you can have it in gold, you can have it in silver, rose gold, black, white, loads and loads of different types. And of course, one question I always love to ask couples as well is whose name is gonna be first? Uh, nobody's kind of killed each other over this yet, but that's another really cool thing as well. And I always like to put the date there as well, so you can actually see uh, how the date was, which is really cool. So how much does a wedding album actually cost? And why does it matter to kind of go through one of these big printmakers? A lot of online album makers, which are available to the general public basically, will use a lot of cost effective materials to keep costs down. Now, whilst that seems like it could be a good thing, in actuality, it just means you're getting very cost effective materials which aren't gonna last. That means that typically in five years, you're gonna start to see a real deterioration in the quality of the material, and it might fall apart in about 10 years. Now, if you're happy to go every 10 years and reprint it, go nuts. I think you probably won't want to do that. And in most cases, couples will find they don't actually want to do that and they can't be bothered, unfortunately. However, when it comes to actually using a quality album maker, it makes all the difference. When you have archival materials, you have a lot more customization as well. Now, the investment for a professional looking wedding album is typically about the one to 4,000 Australian dollar mark. And this covers a whole host of things I've covered in the blog post, but the great thing is as well that your professional photographer will do all the design for you, they'll get everything sorted, and also they should be able to offer payment plans as well. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna tell you about a really cool way to actually get your guests to contribute towards having this ultimate wedding album you guys are gonna fall in love with. So I also wanna give you guys an in-depth showcase of this wedding album which I've created here as well. This is from Addie and Chloe's wedding which we did last year. 
really, really beautiful. Now, they came in the studio here, we sat down, had a really, really nice time. I designed the whole album with them. We went through everything and we ended up actually choosing, well, I didn't end up, they ended up choosing this really beautiful storm looking vintage um, kind of bluey look as well with gold foil as well to really accentuate everything and to really encapsulate their amazing wedding day. So who do I use and recommend when it comes to wedding albums? Well, I recommend Queensbury. Queensbury are a New Zealand workshop. They're fantastic. They've been set up ever since 1969, and I'm blown away by the work they do and what they've created for me as a photographer and my clients. Everything is made from archival grade materials. It's all hand assembled, and they can even do a whole load of different customization, including this really exciting vegan leather as well, which I think can really help a lot of people who wanna make a sustainable choice. So I have one last tip for you guys as well, and this is really cool. This is actually how to get your guests to contribute towards having your dream wedding album. Now, when it comes to having your wedding album actually created and designed, you might have a set number of pages within each package you've got. So for example, you might get 20 pages, but there's a really cool website called Album Registry, and I love what these guys do. So it's like a gift registry, but the great thing is your guests can actually buy you pages in your album. So if you've got a 20 page album and you really love the idea of getting a 50 page one, your guests can simply go online, log on, contribute whatever they want towards how many pages you want to get, and Bob's your uncle, you can get this in your final album design as well. I'll also play you guys a really good little clip from it as well with Celeste Barber in it of all people, so hopefully you can get a little bit of an idea of what it actually is all about. Hey, what are you doing? There's what? a fire, what, what are you doing? Yeah, I know, here, take this. everyone takes their share. What are they? The backups. Okay. And the backup of the backups. What do you mean the backup of the backup? The whole point of the backup of the backup is to keep it offside. Oh, no, I was going to build a bunker. A bunker? Why? There's a fire, let's go. Okay, let's go. <gasps> oh my god, have you got the photos of Michael at our wedding with Arnie Fran? Remember he was doing that weird dance thing with her? <laughs> yeah, I know. That was so funny, eh? He's such an idiot. Yeah, where are they? Well, they're on that USB. Uh, which one? I think we got the little one. I can't find the little one. It's too little. Go and get all of the USBs. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You okay. take these. All right. Okay, fine. Oh, I've got to get the kids too. Print your photos. Now the great thing with album registry is your photographer should be able to help you get set up on it as well. I've used it a few times and it's such a blast. It's super duper easy peasy and it's a lot better than getting something like a white good toaster where you get it and then about three years it'll break down, you won't even think about it anymore and it's rubbish. Instead your guests can actually give you something which is gonna contribute to your wedding album which is your heirloom and your memories of one of the biggest days of your life, guys. So those are the main reasons why you guys should get a wedding album and I hope that's given you a little bit more information about it as well. As I say, below there is the blog link so you guys can actually check out and have a read of everything else I've written about there. I've got a load more videos in there and also a load more images which kind of really helps solidify kind of why this is such a cool thing to do. So I'd actually love to hear if I've actually convinced you guys to get a wedding album made as well. Comment below, let me know what you think. If you really want to be nice, you can even give this video a like as well and share it with somebody who you think is on the edge about getting a wedding album. And as always guys, if you want to check out more of my work, head on over to Instagram. I'm always posting daily there. I'd love to hear what you guys think about this video even if you just send me a DM or something like that Let me know but as I say guys till the next video take it easy, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye guys